So hello, hello, welcome back to the PassCom phone system training series. Uh, today we've got something new for you. Um, if you've been watching us in the uh, last few weeks, you'll have noticed that we brought out PassCom 1906, which has some yeah, advancements in terms of web meetings, web conferencing, and so on and so on. Um, Matthias, what are we going to be showing people today? What do they need to know? So for today, we show them the new guest mode we have in the mm -hmm. browser. We had video collaboration before, yep. and uh, now it, it was easy. If you collaborate inside your company, everybody has the Passcom client, everything was fine. Yep. But if you want to invite some external guests, you had to give them the Passcom client, you had to create the user or whatever. Mm -hmm. And now we have a new functionality, which is the web client. Okay. So as we said earlier, we will add more and more functionality to the Passcom groups. Yep. We added chat, we added, um, we added video, we added screen sharing, and now we added on top of the Passcom groups, the web meeting. Okay. So nothing new to learn. We yep. just use the Passcom groups and extend them up to a web meeting. Fair enough. Good. So take it away. Let's show, us, show everybody what we've got with the world yes. of WebRTC. Yeah. So um, you might know already that you can create a new Passcom group here with the plus sign. I call this web meeting. What's new? I don't have to select participants for now because I only want to use external members now. Uh, situation is as follows. I want to talk to our um, when, uh, to some vendors, to some suppliers, to a customer some customers, or whoever it may be, whatever. a business partner. A business partner where I want just to invite him. Maybe I have some other internal users. I could add them now, mm -hmm. but I can be also alone and just invite. Okay, guests. good. Web meeting, um, then I can save this. Now I have a standard PASCOM group and I'm the only participant for now. Uh, I can upgrade this now mm -hmm. to a public web meeting. Right. How do I do this? This is very easy. I just go to this uh, info sign and say allow guests. What I get now is a bunch of information. I have a phone number, a PIN and a URL. I want to explain that. Mm -hmm. So you could send this invitation to somebody and he can just participate with a phone number and a PIN. Mm -hmm. So this replaces also the um, old conference room. Yep. You just mm -hmm. create this, you have a PIN, you have a dial-in number and, and that's A question here, the dial-in number, I'm sure many people will ask about this. Is this a different dial-in dial number per group or is it the same per group? How do we differentiate? No, you just have, as an administrator, you have to define one number okay. and you can uh, think about it as a lobby in a hotel. Okay. You mm -hmm. go there and then you say the PIN and then you get the right room. Right. Okay. So we differentiate between which group a participant is trying to access via yes. the PIN. Yes. Okay. So that's, that's easy. And if the data leaks for some reason or whatever, you can just disable the guest mode and enable it again and then everything will be created from scratch. New. Fair enough. So that's possibility one. Mm -hmm. um, but the more fancy <laughs> possibility too. What is, we're really here to talk about, WebRTC. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. is you can just share uh, the link with okay. somebody else. He can open the link in the browser and he can participate via browser only if he likes. But he can also have a mixture. So he can say, I use for video and for screen sharing the, the notebook br mm -hmm. or whatever device. And Additionally, I dial in because I have a crappy headset and I don't want to. Yeah, use it. or it could be that, for example, you don't want to use up too much of your bandwidth in your home network. You don't have a huge. If the video works, then audio should also work. It should. It audience. should do, but you never know. No. Um, there, there may could, be reasons. There may be many reasons, um, and it's always a good idea to offer when you're inviting external participants uh, to offer the option. Yes. Yeah. So inviting is easy. We can go ahead here. Um, we have a button where you say I can copy the invitation to the clipboard. Then I open my email and I have already James in there and I say web meeting at now. <laughs> and then I can uh, paste um, what he needs. He needs the group web meeting so he knows, he knows the URL and here additionally or alternatively he can dial in with um, the pen. The pen. So I sent this to. Okay. And now it's arrived uh, at me. So I'm just going to click on the link and I'm going to share my screen. And now you see it here. 
This is what it looks like for a external attendee. Uh, what I have to do is then I have to enter my name, obviously. So I'm gonna put James. And it's gonna say, oh, can you use your microphone? Yes. Can you use the camera? Yes. Um, and then here it's gonna ask me to choose which camera, so you can see a nice picture of me there. And then I have the option of, if I wanted to, to dial in via phone, I click on that one, uh, but I'm gonna do it by browser. So I can then choose my headset. I've got a Jabra Evolve um, for the microphone, and then for, yeah, speaker for some reason is uh, that way. But I'm just gonna put the Jabra Evolve there, and then join. Now I'm waiting for Matthias, the moderator, yes. to join. Yes, so, so here is a time for a explanation of the concept. Mm -hmm. So if you have multiple web meeting participants, they will all now wait until a moderator joins. Yeah. Then the question is, who is a moderator? A moderator is every internal user. Okay. So if me and my colleague would uh, create such a meeting, then it does not matter if you go in there first or I as an internal user as Mm -hmm. Soon as an internal user enters the room, the conference starts. If the last internal user exits, mm -hmm. then the conference is on hold and every participant is in the waiting room again. Yes. This is also very uh, important. Uh, maybe you have trouble with your internet connection, mm -hmm. then everybody is on hold, nobody can discuss about something, yep. and then you can go in again and then everybody can talk mm -hmm. to each other as long as at least one internal yep. Uh, and and to make everything nice while you're waiting, we do obviously have music on hold yes, uh, yes. in there. So That's if you can hear it from my, my Jabra here. Um, no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. so uh, Matthias, now so, that we've got everything here set up, you're yes. going to come in as a moderator. What do we need? Yes. So uh, first of all, here is my uh, web meeting group. Mm -hmm. And I can see already because it's green here that somebody is waiting. Mm -hmm. If I want to have details I can click here and I see that the James is already here and I'm not dialed in so I could wait here for everybody to appear. If I like to start the conference I just dial into the web meeting now and what it does is now it starts the web meeting it starts the webcam and I can see all the participants if I like to. <laughs> then I can add my video also um, to it and multiple videos, whatever. Yeah. Then I can add uh, the screen sharing if I like. If I have multiple monitors, it shows me which one to choose. So I want to share this screen, for instance. So now we can have a look at James' notebook and he can see me, he can see the screen share. And also you can click on the screen if you like and um, or on me if you mm -hmm. like, whatever, yeah. on the screen sharing. Um, then you can do everything you can also do in the past compliant. I can see who's there and I can also go in here and I can chat with people yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So everything that we've got in the past compliant, we can do here. Yeah, and if I want to leave, I just hang up as a moderator and you can see that James is again waiting. I could start it again, stop it again, whatever. Yeah, but I'm gonna say, right, that's gonna close that. And uh, I think we've done pretty well of explaining how to use our yeah. brand new WebRTC yeah. web conferencing tool. What, what we had in mind when we designed this was make it as easy as possible for the yeah. Pascom user. Don't create another web UI for mm -hmm. him to make something or to invite somebody. He can do it out of the box of his known client yeah. with the known procedures. Exactly. And that's the beauty of it. Um, with many you know, video conferencing platforms and whatever, um, you need to have additional software and this, that, and the other. Yeah. It's not so intuitive for the actual uh, host. Um, and with us, it's literally a case of, it's just an add-on to your existing workflow. Um, it's very intuitive to use and uh, for the user and then also for the attendee, it's uh, not very complicated to set up. It's a lot of allow yes, and, you should, you and should, done. Uh, click, 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 and then provide your yeah. name. Or even just dial a number. Um, yes. Yeah. Anyway, so that is it for the Pascom uh, web client. Uh, we hope you like it. Uh, let us know uh, in the comments with your feedback. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye.